ESPN, you're paying these guys money to make this ranking, man? Come on, bro. Y'all gotta be kidding me. So on Thursday night, the night Shakur Stevens took on Edwin De Los Santos in probably one of the most boring fights you will ever see. But on that broadcast, ESPN released their top 10 pound for pound rankings. There's a few things on here that have you thinking a little bit and raises your eyebrow. And even one situation in which when I first saw it, it had me thinking like, what the hell were these guys thinking? And who is making these top 10 pound for pound rankings? But let's check them out and run through them real quick. See where these guys are ranked and what mistakes they may have made. And also it gives you guys the opportunity to let me know in the comment section what your top 10 pound for pound rankings would be and what you would change on this list. Because I think there is a few things on this list that I feel as though a lot of you guys would rank differently. So let's start off with the back five. Number 10 through six is 10, Tyson Fury, nine, Javante Davis, Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, then Arda Better Be It. The only real controversial thing that I see here would be seven through nine, right? Ranking Devin Haney at seven, Shakur at eight, and Javante Davis at nine. I know a lot of people between these three, there's a lot of mixed feelings on among these three, who is the best, right? Some people think Devin Haney would outbox, Shakur, especially after that last performance, a lot of people thinking Devin Haney would beat and outbox Shakur Stevenson. There's a lot of people out there that still think Shakur Stevenson would be too slick for Devin Haney and Javante Davis. And then there's the people out there that think Javante Davis would knock both of these guys out. So that's the main thing from this half that I feel as though, you know, people will have a bit of a contention about, you know, however you rank these three guys, you know, I could see them being in the top 10. However you want to rank these three guys, it shouldn't matter. But I feel like they're fine there. If they're fine or around in that area, seven through nine, I, I could see it. I'm cool with it. Uh, another one I think people might possibly have a little bit of a contention with is having Arter Berbiev at six. You can see Arter Berbiev is 19 and 0 with 19 knockouts, has a 100% finish rate, and is undefeated. I think them ranking Arter Berbiev at six might be a little bit biased. I, I don't know. I mean, I, in my opinion, I, I would probably have better be of below, you know, Devin, Shakur, and Javante, just because I think, you know, I think Devin and Javante have fought better opposition than our better be of has. And Shakur is just really good at the sweet science of boxing. So uh, having Arter better be of at six, I mean, maybe I could see it. The guy's 19 and 0 and 19 knockouts, which is definitely impressive. But just the opposition, uh, it's a little iffy. Hopefully, they, they're able sometime to get him to fight Dimitri Bivol. And then we can really see where Arthur Betterbiev is with a real challenge. Speaking of Dimitri Bivol, in this top end, ranked 1 through 5. Number 5, we got Dimitri Bivol. Number 4, Canelo Alvarez. 3, Alexander Usyk. 2, Naoya Inoue. And number 1, the pound for pound king, Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, before I get into the absolute ridiculousness of what I see straight away, what I will talk about is that it should be noted that you can see Tyson Fury went from pound for pound number one. Everyone's saying Tyson Fury is pound for pound number one. Without a doubt, without a question, he drops all the way to 10. Man, and I seen him higher than that before the Francis Ngannou fight. After the Francis Ngannou fight, he drops down to 10, man. So he's got that fight with Alexander Usyk coming up. Let's see if he puts on a great performance and somehow manages to pull out another win. I expect him to jump up big time on this list. If not taking, in my opinion, he should. if he beats Usyk, he should take that number three spot. He should at least bounce up somewhere in that pound for pound rankings. You don't just beat the number three pound for pound best fighter in the world, Alexander Usyk, and not move anywhere in, in the top 10. You know what I mean? He goes out there and beats Usyk. He deserves to move up in ranking. And then another small one, having Terrence Crawford or Naoya Inoue at one and two. I know some people out there would say have Naoya Inoue at one, but Terrence Crawford did come off of that really, really impressive performance against Errol Spence. If that was a close fight, then I think Naoya Inoue would be number one, whereas Crawford would be two or maybe even a little bit lower. But because Crawford just absolutely decimated Errol Spence and the fight wasn't close whatsoever 
I think that's the main reason why he is number one. And I got no problem with that. But what I do got a problem with is number four and number five. Please, somebody, please explain to me how Canelo Alvarez is over Dimitri Bivol. How? On anybody's pound for pound list, Canelo Alvarez should never be over Dimitri Bivol. I don't understand how. Your resume and everything like that, yeah, Canelo might have a way more impressive resume, but you know, the pound for pound rankings ain't about that. The pound for pound rankings is about who is the best fighter in the world right now. And I- I'm sorry, but did I miss something? Didn't Dimitri Bivol absolutely dominate Canelo Alvarez in their fight? What what am I missing? How is Canelo over someone who whooped his ass <laughs> like I, I, that is just absolutely crazy to me like and i get it like canelo alvarez is good without a doubt deserves to be in the top 10 pound for pound i know there's a lot of people who hate on him especially recently with his you know a few past really really bad performances but canelo alvarez without a doubt does deserve to be in this top 10 pound for pound but over dimitri bivol a guy who beat him a guy who dominated him yeah the judges are fucking bullshit and they you know, made the scorecard seem a lot closer. But d- let's be real. Dimitri Bivol dominated Canelo Alvarez in their fight. There is no reason, there is no excuse that you can possibly come to tell me for having Canelo Alvarez ranked above Dimitri Bivol. There's just nothing you can say. You know what I mean? We are talking about the best fighters in the world and you're ranking a guy who won in their fight below the guy who lost, that just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. And just like I was saying a second ago, Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk are set to fight, right? That's like Tyson Fury beating Alexander Usyk. Maybe, okay, maybe you drop Usyk down, but then that's like having Usyk at 9 and keeping Fury at 10 or something like that. Like, what are are we talking about, bro? Like, he beat the guy. So why is he ranked below him in pound for pound? This is not... I, I, I think people misconstrued like maybe ranking a guy who you think would win that would make more sense like Naoya in a way Terrence Crawford the people the guys are are probably never gonna fight so you're kind of just guessing who you think would win same with Dimitri Bivol or better be if they haven't fought yet you're you're kind of picking on a what if you know some people think Arter better be if would beat Bivol some people thinking Bivol would beat Arter better be if so you're kind of thinking on a what if so I, I think that's not the big a big deal But the fact that you have two guys that actually fought each other, we know who the better guy is because they fought. So (laughs) how is the loser ranked above the winner? It just, it it blows my mind, man. Who the hell are making these rankings? Because they don't know what the hell they are talking about. Like ESPN, you're paying these guys money to make this fucking ranking, man? Come on, bro. Y'all gotta be kidding me. But I don't know. Yeah, it, maybe y'all think otherwise. Maybe, you know, Dimitri Bivol beating Canelo Alvarez isn't good enough for him to be ranked higher. I don't know. But let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know if there would be any changes that you would make to this top 10. And as always, I thank you all so much for the support. And I'll catch you in the next video.